Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, Southland Video here, bringing you a no BS review on the GoPro Volta and Media Mods Part 1. I split this video up into two parts because i got a lot of material to cover and I didn't want to have like a really long video. Now what this video is going to cover is on the left you have the GoPro 11 with a cage setup and the Volta. And on the right you have the GoPro 12 with a Media Mod setup and the Volta. I'm going to kind of touch base on each one, pros and cons, and just hopefully by the end of it, you can decide if you've not got one or want to purchase one, is it something for you? Now, keep in mind, all this equipment is purchased with my money. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by any of these companies on here. I just want to give you a good, honest review and help people that's just getting into this to learn from some of my mistakes and maybe save a few dollars and cut a few corners. And I will be putting how much I paid for these items and uh, if they're used or new. I'll let you know that too because some of these things, there's nothing wrong with buying a, a little bit of a cheaper version that's used. And with everything used, you take a chance. But here's the GoPro Volta. I did buy this used for $90 from KEH Camera Equipment. Great place. I recommend checking it out. I buy a lot of stuff from them. Now, the GoPro Volta, you attach the GoPro to the top, just like any other GoPro equipment. It's got a cord that attaches it, and it's got a couple of buttons on it. Now, basically, the Volta is a remote slash battery charger. You've got an on and off button, record button, Bluetooth, battery and then a battery indicator light now the top of the volta is where you actually have a little bit of a swivel on the side you have an attachment a typical gopro attachment you can attach to backpack or a vest on the other side you have a c port which is hidden by i guess a water resistant cover now the top will swivel 360 but it will not tilt there is no tilt with this. It's just pretty much a stiff tripod. Basically, if you're going to use it in that way, a holding stick does not extend, nothing like that. But, you know, it does have a uh, tripod mount on the bottom that you can screw it into a maybe a larger or fixed tripod. Here are the stands that come out from it that you can use. Now this is the GoPro 11 with the newer ridge cage. Now this ridge cage is actually plastic. Now this was an impulse buy I did a while back uh, trying to go the cheap route. And now it has lasted. I don't know how, but it is held up. Uh, still going right now. It just honestly kind of feels really light and like it could break but i mean i have honestly dropped it i would not recommend doing any action with this it was only 1749 and i would not recommend doing any kind of action work with it maybe just vlogging or just shooting just normal video it would be all right and what this is for is if you need to add audio or an uh, external light that's what these cages are for give you more ways to attach to the GoPro and this is what it looks like without all of its uh, attachments just a box now this top part I had to put a little piece of paper in because my DJI mic transmitter was loose I was afraid it would fall out this bottom part is for a mic adapter now when you don't have a, a video mod you have to have a mic adapter. It allows you to plug the mic into the mod and then plug the mod into the GoPro. And it's pretty easy. This is the GoPro 11 I bought and I did purchase this GoPro used. I got it from Best Buy for $289. It was uh, one of the display models and works fantastic. Not a scratch on it. Saved me about a hundred bucks. Now you just slide a GoPro in, snap the back, and here's where the mic adapter comes in. Now the mic adapter will cost you around $49.99, and it is made by GoPro. 
and it has a C port and a mic plug-in. You just slide it in there. You will plug the adapter into the GoPro and then you'll plug the Falta in to the adapter. And like I said, this is what happens when you don't buy the mod. If you go with the cage, this is the setup you'll have to do. Now, these GoPro thumb screws, anybody on GoPro knows. I still use the older ones. I know they've got new ones that's better and easier. I know that, but I'm going to use these till I can't use them anymore. And they are aggravating, especially to get started and lined up. I got it on there. Now, fold the tripod legs in. And here's where you come in the hookup. You'll hook the GoPro into the mic adapter. Just remember the buttons need to face you when you put the GoPro on. It'll still hook up the other way. It's just a little awkward. But you need to have the buttons towards you. Now, you'll plug the adapter into the GoPro. And you can see the red light on the GoPro showing that it is charging. It's working. You'll want to push the Bluetooth button on the Alta, Volta. You'll see a light come on, a blue light showing that the Bluetooth is working. Push your power button, and there you go. You got power. You can go through, pick your different settings, video, photo, time warp. You can also record just by pushing the record button. There you go. Shows you're recording. And you just push the button again to end recording. It is a really good battery charger and remote. If that's what you want. Don't get it and think you're going to do selfies and all this stuff with it. It's just a battery charger. It has a remote on it. And it is a great one at that. I, I really like the Volta. It gives you about, about four batteries worth of charge and it you can film all day with it so the volta besides having a few connectivity problems sometimes i highly recommend the volta i really enjoy it grand total of all this was 445 now you'll have to tune in to part two and we'll go over the actual gopro mod and the pros and cons of it and then we'll compare prices on both because i did get both used and we'll see which one comes out on top. So make sure you make sure you tune in for part two. And I'll also be going over some pros and cons for the GoPros themselves I have. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you later.